Hello, everyone, and welcome to Read Along with Grandma Sherry. I hope you are doing well today. The story we are going to read is called Jenny's Hat, and it is written and illustrated by Ezra Jack Keats. Now, this is a story that takes place way back when, probably before Grandma Sherry's time, when everyone always wore a hat when they went outside. The ladies, the grandmothers, the little kids, the dads, the brothers, everybody wore a hat. And the prettier the hat, the better you felt. So let's read about Jenny's hat. A new hat. Jenny's favorite aunt promised to send her one as a present. Jenny waited and dreamed and waited. Shutting her eyes, she sighed. It'll be big and flowery and, oh, so very beautiful. At last, it came. She ran to her room and opened the box. Oh, no, she gasped. It's such a plain hat. Why, dear, I really think it's quite nice, her mother said kindly. Jenny blinked back her tears and put the hat under her bed. She put on a straw basket to see what sort of hat it would make. Then she drew pictures. Hat chew, she sneezed. Bless you, dear, called her mother. And what are you doing? I'm drawing a hatapillar, I I mean a caterpillar, answered Jenny. Oh, dear, sighed her mother. I see. Then she tried on a lampshade and a little flower pot a TV antenna, and a shiny pot, but none of those would do, not really. Jenny noticed that it was three o'clock. Time to feed the birds. She ran to the cupboard, filled a paper bag with breadcrumbs, and started for the park. The birds expected her, for every Saturday afternoon she went to that very same spot to scatter the crumbs. The birds came, All sorts of birds, fluttering and twittering and cooing. They all knew Jenny. Some ate out of her hand. Others hopped happily on her head. Soon, every last crumb was gone, and away they flew. For a while, Jenny forgot about her new hat. But walking home, Jenny remembered and wished out loud, Oh, I wish my new hat was just a little fancier. The next morning, Jenny got up early and peeped out the window. What lovely hats she saw. Later, she went to church with her father, mother, and friends. All around her, hats appeared like flowers in a garden. As they left the church, Jenny saw some birds. Then, more and more birds. Were they following her? They fluttered down on her plain hat, carrying red and violet flowers, and leaves, colored eggs, and a paper fan. They added a picture of swans on a quiet lake and some big red and yellow roses. And two big green and orange leaves, more pictures, and some paper flowers, more real flowers, and a pink valentine. Then, All the birds swooped down together, flapping and fluttering around Jenny's new hat. Suddenly, they all flew away. On Jenny's head sat the most beautiful hat. At the very top was a nest of chirping young birds. Jenny felt like chirping too. Happy from head to toe, she felt she was walking on air. People stared in wonder. Behind her flew the birds watchful and proud. When they all reached her house, the birds, twittering and singing, picked up the rest of the little ones and flew back to their home in the park. Jenny waved goodbye. Thank you, she called. Jenny's mother helped her wrap the wonderful hat piled high with lovely things. Even after the flowers and leaves had dried, it would be saved and looked at and remembered for a long, long time. 
Well, that brings us to the end of Jenny's Hat, written and illustrated by Ezra Jack Keats. I think it's a charming story, and she ended up getting the most beautiful hat that she wanted in the end. Certainly better than that basket. Anyway, I hope you have dreams of having pretty and fancy things, and I hope you get them. Also, I hope you enjoyed reading this story with me, and finally, I hope you have a most wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.